Hello guys, welcome to the OPL assignment video series. Today we, we are going to discuss assignment number uh, next assignment from group C that is for binary number addition using stack STL. So we know the rules of uh, binary number addition where we know we know that if the both inputs are one, that time we are while doing the addition, we will, uh, the addition will be zero and it uh, it generates the carry one and rest of the thing you know that 0 plus 1 1 and 1 plus 0 1 that we know everybody know about binary number addition okay so the same thing we want to perform with the help of a stack now here okay we will uh, uh, we'll be using stl here that is standard template library so we need not to worry about uh, the logic of stack now okay so first of all uh, we'll see we have to use a stack header file in this program for implementing the stack okay then after that this stack header file will provide the functions that is push pop top empty all these are the member functions of stack class so that we can implement when we uh, include this stack header file in here okay so after that we need uh, we will define three functions okay so first function will define that is get binary so this function is used to uh, take binary number input okay so this will generally uh, help us to take the binary number uh, from the keyboard so this function uh, for this function we will take return type that is stack type because finally we want to return a stack okay and that stack will be of integer type so because of that here integer type is specified okay because our program uh, pro program statement is saying what well, we have to assume one bit as a one number here so individually we have to take the input of bits here okay so get binary so first of all we'll define the get binary function so see what will happen in get binary function with help of diagram so in get binary function first of all we are going to create uh, an empty stack okay so like this so after that we are going to de define the number of bits in the binary number so we'll decide how many bits we want in the binary number and then later on we'll take the input of those bits through keyboard and we are going to push those bits on the stack okay so this way we'll first of all we'll take the one as a bit input and we'll push on the first stack okay then we'll take the zero input and we'll push on the uh, the stack okay after that we'll take the input of again next bit and we'll push on the stack and then we'll take the input of zero and we'll push on the stack okay so this way we are going to uh, push it on to the stack okay in the same way we are going to again push onto the stack okay if we want two stacks for addition okay so this way we'll take the input of uh, binary number okay but that we have to write here in the get binary function so first of all our requirement is an empty stack so we'll create one empty stack that is st object we'll create and then after that we need some variable that is n variable is required for number of bits then bit variable is required to store the bit a single bit and then we need i variable for indexing for low okay so here i will display enter number of bits okay and then i will take the input of n uh, by using n i will uh, take the input of number of bits and then i will display enter binary numbers after this now we can enter the binary number okay so we want to take each and every bit okay individually so because of that we'll use for loop here and we'll iterate it n number of times so here with the help of scene i'll take the input of bit okay so i'll take the bit with the help of bit variable and then with the help of st okay uh, this is the st empty stack i will call put a push function and i will push the bits here okay and then i'll return the st object okay because st object is the stack finally okay so this way we we have taken the input of stack now and that will be that will look like this here okay so now we need next function that is the add binary function where we are going to perform addition of addition of two stacks two binary numbers so for two binary numbers i have used s1 stack and s2 stack which will be 
this these are these are the two stacks that i want to pass as a parameter to the add binary function here okay so again add binary function is again giving the result in, in the form of stack so i will use a stack as a return type here okay so in this function again we need a temporary stack okay resulting stack because finally the addition we are going to perform and the result we are going to add insert onto the next resulting stack so we need an empty stack now again here so i have created an empty stack okay that is s3 okay so this s3 stack i have created an empty stack after that i need some variables that is some carry variable is required then again i need st1 comma st2 variable so again after that i will uh, i will initialize these variables with uh, zero value because this is uh, it should not take garbage value there okay so some variable is store is used to store the uh, bit addition then carry is variable is required to uh, store the carry okay and uh, st1 and st2 variables are required to uh, store the uh, top elements of the stack that is s1 stack and s2 stack okay so here i will check whether compile loop i will check whether my s1 stack is empty or not because we have already passed the stack with the help of s1 here okay first stack or i'll i'll check whether second stack is empty or not okay so both stack or either one stack is not empty that time i will check again if s1 is empty or not okay s1 stack is empty or not i will check and in this i will do what i will first access the top element of two of the first stack by calling the top function here okay so at this time this first top element will be accessed okay so that i want to access with the help of top function here okay and then after that in order to access next top element again i want to pop previous top element so i will call s1 dot i'll call the pop function here so that you can see that after accessing this okay after accessing this element that is one i have to pop it so that i can access in this next and then i can access next and next okay so that we have to perform here okay so that we have performed so i'll copy this code again and i will paste it here because again i want to access the element of next uh, next stack that is s2 stack so I, again i will check whether it is empty or not and at this time i will store the top elements of that stack into st2 variable and then again i will pop the the top element or top of the um, stack okay so that next element will become the top of the stack so after that i, I need to perform the addition so uh, sum is equal to st1 plus st2 i'll add these elements okay and then i'll add the carry if there is carry generated from the addition the time i will use carry okay and i will i will divide it i will perform the modulus operation because at this time all these are of integer type you can see above so it will obviously it will give the integer result that will might be two four six okay that might be like that okay three four so it has to be converted into a binary number so that we can uh, perform we can do with the help of modulus operation okay we will divide it by two and uh, whatever the remainder there that will be the rem the remainder will be one or zero okay after that again we i want carry so i'll i'll find out carry with the help of again the same thing that is i'll add the bits of both stack okay both numbers and then i'll add the carry also and then i'll divide it by two so that i will get carry in the form of one zero okay then i need to uh, i need to push the sum onto the third stack so i'll push i'll call the push function with the purpose three object that is stack three and i'll push the i will insert the sum that is addition of that bits onto the stack okay 
so this is this will happen into the while loop because uh, your stack will be of four size or five size or six size okay so that number of times the while loop will uh, will loop will iterate there and outside the while loop i will check whether my carry is equal to one okay or not if it is equal to one that time it will just push it will just push onto the third stack because finally at the msb at msb it might happen that both inputs are one and that time it will definitely generate the carry so that time we need a fifth element so we'll push the last element that is one if there is a carry one that carry we want to again push onto the stack okay and then finally in this function i want to return the s3 object because my return type is a stack so i need to return a stack object here so that is s3 so after that uh, we will we'll define a show binary function which is used to or display binary number which displays the binary number here so it takes one parameter it does not require any return type so it takes only one parameter that is stack so here i will use the general logic for accessing the stack element that is the while loop and then i will check whether it is empty or not if it is not empty then i'll display the top of the top element of the stack okay and i will leave some blank space between the elements and then after that i will call the pop function to delete the pop and to make the next element at the top okay so this is about show binary now we'll go to main function in main function first of all we have to create the object of stack class okay so we need three or uh, objects or three stacks now two for input and third for output third for uh, addition uh, we need choice variable here uh, because we are going to uh, i'm going to do here menu driven program i'm using infinite while loop by using true here true condition so stack menu then input first binary number input second binary number add binary numbers and exit these are the four menus in this program now and then i'll take the input of choice so okay, i'll ask for choice here okay i'll take the input of choice variable then in the switch case i'll match the choice with the cases so in case one we are performing the input or portion of input of first binary number so i'll use first object sk1 is equal to get binary i will call the get binary function here then in second case again i need second binary number so i will call i will call get binary function and it'll store that stack into sk2 object that is sk2 stack again in third case i need to perform addition operation of binary numbers so at this time i will use sk3 object equal to sk okay that is add binary is the function that we have and i will pass two objects that, that is sk1 and sk2 which will have the two binary numbers here okay and at the same location i'm going to uh, display the binary addition of the binary number so i'll just call show binary okay show binary function here and i'll pass this sk3 object which is the resulting stack here okay resulting binary number and in fourth case i will just call exit of zero for terminating the program and in default case i will just display the invalid choice okay so this way the program has been in, uh, finished now we'll compile and run this program okay so what is that one it's saying what Okay, so redeclaration re has happened here, I think. No, there is no redeclaration. There is no redeclaration. Re sk1 sk2 oh sorry here sk3 is repeated sk2 sk3 okay so now we'll compile it and run it okay so one 
number four bits four zero one zero one and second binary number i will take four now remember here number of bits should be same here because it will not perform the addition because both stacks should be of similar size then four and then one zero one one okay so now it perform the addition by pressing three third choice by using third choice now you can see the addition is displayed here okay and then fourth choice for exit okay so this is about your addition of binary number program that you can see this way we can perform the binary of a binary addition by using stack stm so if you are having any doubt about this program we can post your message your query into the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thank you for watching my video bye, -bye.